Alright, this video is about uh, the way you can get Forex data into Wealth Lab, right? And what you have to do in order for that to work, well, first of all, you gotta have a licensed Wealth Lab because you're gonna need to download um, some stuff from their website and it's just not gonna let you if you don't have a registered version, right? So if you have a registered version, you go into wealthlab.com, you go extensions, just type meta here, and there you go, meta trader static. You download that, and after you download it, you have a specific file, you double click it, and in wealthlab, you're gonna get this little window saying that you are down, uh, that you have installed uh, a special provider, and it's gonna ask you to restart wealth lab so after you restart wealth lab right here when you right click and click create new data set you're gonna have this option meta trader static all right so uh, just make sure you note that for right now and after you click next it's gonna ask you some stuff right here and what that is is actually uh, I'm gonna show you right now okay so a data set properties right here you have to show Wealth Lab, where the MetaTrader keeps uh, its data, right? And in order to get that data, I'm gonna open. It. See, here's my MetaTrader. It's open. Um, it's not in English. This one, but you go File, and this there's probably something right here which says Open uh, something, whatever. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the eighth from the top, right? so you open this it actually shows the path to where it keeps the um the files right the history files well that's uh, that's the first thing to know and basically okay let's do it for okay xau usd right so this is the gold and um you can see that right here the gold is at uh well, 0 8 12 right so 12th of august is the last bar and if we have a look I have a um, meta trader right here for Xau USD and it's probably gonna show uh, it's not showing me any data and that is yeah it's not showing me any data I've been reinstalling wealth lab maybe that's why so I'm gonna do it from the beginning anyway so here you have your uh, meta trader first of all after you open up I s let's say we want Xau, Xau USD right okay and uh, let's say uh, so First of all, I want the daily data, so I need to press uh, this button right here, so it um, it doesn't you know keep the um, keep it doesn't keep the so this button this has to be unpressed because I'm gonna move the graph to the beginning and download all the possible data that you know MetaTrader gives me, and I'm gonna just press home in order to do that. So you can see that we went to 18th of October, right? Home and end. So now MetaTrader has downloaded into its um, folder all, all possible data from uh, the server. And I'm going to go just see where the server keeps, uh, where the MetaTrader keeps the files, right? And if you see, it goes terminal, and then you have to choose this uh, terminal. And then right here, you go history. And look, there are going to be quite a few options here. And you have to select the... Uh, you have to select the you know the broker the broker because you you might have a few meta traders installed and then you might you might just find quite a few names right here you know and I know that I think mine is called this one and you can see that I have the data right here right you can see that Xau USD and then it's gonna show 1440 is the daily data here's the 60s this is, this is an hourly data five is the five minute data and you can see that you know only, we only have the hourly, the daily, and the five minute. And I don't have anything else for Xau USD. Just watch this. I'm going to close it and I'm going to choose 15 minute data. And I'm going to, you know, un this is unpressed, so it's not scrolling. And I'm going to go end and I'm going to go home. Oh, let me just, you know, zoom out so this doesn't take forever. And I'm going to go home and let's see how much data. It gave us, you know, two years of data and doesn't give any more. So, and just watch this, I'm going to go back to this uh, place and I'm going to go history and I'm going to look uh, and, and 
and and and it didn't give me okay so it's probably the wrong folder then right so that's how you check uh, whether you actually found the correct folder you can see that i didn't get any 15 minute data right so it must be the wrong folder so it could be this one uh it's not this one okay then uh which one is it then gosh duck sorry history signals it's quite quite strange it's not this folder maybe i'm uh, just one second oh it is actually this folder all you have to do is uh, restart metatrader and it's gonna go and it's gonna appear right right here in the history yeah we go into the same folder and you can see that xao usd 15 minutes has downloaded right here okay so and you can see that we remember we had the the 60 minute the 30 now we have the 15 minute as well okay uh sorry this is year usd but the xao usd has now downloaded the 15 minute data all right so just remember that and uh you know you need that as well uh, if you want anything to be updated after that in wealth lab you're gonna have to close metatrader so we close metatrader and we uh, let's create a new data set metatrader static select the folder and oops i don't remember where the folder was so i have to open it again and just you know go here and go here and i'm just gonna copy this path Control c and i'm gonna just paste it into metatrader static and i'm just gonna paste it into here like this up okay open and paste here enter okay open i'll just select any whatever okay now i select a bar scale so i select daily and look it's showing me everything that it found for daily next metatrader daily new i hope this works finish okay let's see if it gave us anything so daily new xao use the no data available Oof, why is that well you just have to restart wealth lab that's all you had to do and well here's the data right so let's do it just one more time see here's the last bar 1208 no problem everything that we downloaded this whole thing from metatrader and okay now odd usd just to show you the example check it out right i have a last bar right here is 0405 how come and that's because I haven't downloaded the new odd USD in MetaTrader, right? So I have to go to MetaTrader and I will have to uh, open this graph. Uh, I forgot how to open graphs right here. Okay, odd USD right here. Okay, here. And I have to download the latest. Don't forget to unpress this. Okay, and I go end and I go home. So I download. Oh, this is one hour actually. I need daily. So I'll go end and I go home and I go end again and then I zoom in just to make sure I go end. Okay, so we can see that this is right now, uh, yeah, the 12th of August, right? The 12th of August. You can see it right there, 12th of August. Uh, so now this thing is do has downloaded, right, into MetaTrader folder. And I go open Wealth Lab and Odd USD, and it's not gonna be here, right? So it's still 0405, right? So in order to it, for it to be to go there, I have to close MetaTrader. After I close MetaTrader, there you go. See, 1208, no problem. So, and for MetaTrader, you're gonna have to do it for every time frame. So you want five minutes, you do it for five minutes. You want 15 minutes, you create a new data set especially for the scale 50 minute 30 60 daily weekly and you create it for each one the first time you create it restart wealth lab the next time you create it you're just gonna have to you know restart the symbol the main thing that you have to do is close metatrader after you have downloaded the symbol data and then it's gonna get updated in wealth lab all right so that's about it